Hi, hello, welcome back to Max Ninjas. This is Femi Bijan. Today we are going to discuss exercise 6.1, standard age, question number 1 and 2. First question says that what will be the unit digit of the squares of these numbers? They have given some numbers and we have to find out what is the unit digit of the of the squares of these numbers so we have studied a property that property was saying that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 and 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6 and 5. 1 and 7, if the number is ending with 1 and 9, the square should end with 1. If the number is ending with 2 and 8, the number should end with 4. If the number is ending with 3 and 7, the square should end with 9. If the number is ending with 4 and 6, then the square should end with 6. If the number is ending with 5, the square should also end with 5. This is one way of study. The other way is that, see if the number is ending with 1 or 9, what is the square of these two numbers? 1 is 1 and the square of 9 is 81. Both these numbers are ending with 1. If the number, what is the square of the number 2 and 8? Square of 2 is 4, square of 8 is 64. Both these numbers are ending with 4. Like this, we can do this problem. In one way, you can buy hard this chart. Otherwise, you can do the, you can apply the other method. First question is, the number is 81 and it is ending with 1. So, if the number is ending with 1 or 9, the square should end with 1. So, our answer is 1. This number is ending with 2. So, square should end with 4. This number is ending with 9. So, square should end with 1. This number is ending with 3. Square should end with 9. Number is ending with 4. Square is ending with 6. Otherwise, 4 4 are 16. And 16 is ending with 6. Here, without looking at this diagram, this number is ending with 7. What is the square of 7? 49. So, square should end with 9. This number is ending with 8. What is the square of 8? 64. So, the square should end with 4. Here, this number is ending with 0. So, its square should end with 0. This number is ending with 6. 6, 6 are 36 and 36 is ending with 6. So, square should also end with 6. This number is ending with 5. 5, 5 are 25. 25 is ending with 5. So, the answer is 5. Question number 2 says that the following numbers are obviously not perfect squares. Give reason. We have studied one property that the numbers ending with 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. The numbers ending with 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 are Perfect squares. The numbers ending with 2, 
थ्री सेवन एंड एट आर नॉट परफेक्ट स्क्वायर्स आई एम एडिंग वन मोर कंडीशन दैट इफ द नंबर इज एंडिंग विथ जीरो विल इट बी अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इफ द नंबर इज एंडिंग विथ जीरो इफ द नंबर इज एंडिंग विथ वन जीरो दैट इज टेन टेन इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर ओके इफ द नंबर इज एंडिंग विथ टू जीरो हंड्रेड इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर If the number is ending with three zeros, not perfect square. So, what is our conclusion? If the number is ending with odd number of zeros, that number won't be a perfect square. If the number is ending with even number of zeros, that number will be a perfect square. So, here the number is ending with odd number of zeros. Here too, the number is ending with odd number of zeros. That's why these two numbers are not perfect square. But the hundred number hundred is ending with two. That two is an even number, so it's a perfect square. So coming back to our problem, see these numbers perfect. not perfect you should by heart these numbers and these numbers so first number is 1057 the number is ending with 7 so this is not a perfect square they have said that these numbers are not perfect squares we should find the reason only the reason is the number is ending with Seven. Number is ending with seven. Next one. This number is ending with three. The reason is number is ending with three. Next one, the number is ending with eight, so it's not a perfect square. Number is ending with eight. This is the reason. Here, the number is ending with two. That's why it is not a perfect square. Here there are odd number of zeros. That's why it is not a perfect square. So reason is odd number of zeros. Here the number is ending with two. We are writing only the reason. Number is ending with. Here there are odd number of zeros. That's why it is not a perfect square. Odd number of zeros. Here only one zero. The number is ending with only one zero. One is an odd number. So again, this number is ending with odd number of. zeros
Before winding up the class, I will explain one more property. That property says that, see, if we are required to find the product of 11 and 30. 11 into 13 is the question. I am going to rearrange this 11 as 12 minus 1. Instead of this 11, I wrote 12 minus 1 into. Instead of 13, I am going to write 12 plus 1. This is in the form of A minus B into A plus B. Am I right? So, A minus B into A plus B, the answer is A square minus B square. In the same way, 12 square minus 1 square. After finding this, this will be easy for you to find the answer of 11 into 30. Take one more number. That is 13 into 50. Equal to represent 13 in terms of 40. That is 14 minus 1 into 15. Represent 15 in terms of 40. 14 plus 1. By applying the rule A minus B into A plus B, we will be getting 14 square minus 1 square. We have, we know what is the square of 14 and we know what is the square of 12 too. So, the answer will be for finding the product of 13 and 15, this method will be easy for you. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt, please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off for me, Bijoy from Max Ninjas.